Running club starts on November 17th in room 302 every day but Thursday. 245. 245. 245. 245. Fall dance concert happening from 3rd to the 5th of December. Tickets are on sale. $5 at the bookstore. Winter fashion show on November 21st. Hosted by Finham, Marta Dance, and Dutch Bros in the Tiger's Den. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What's on your phone? I'm here with Brandon Hopkins. Brandon, what's on your phone? Sinead, what's on your phone? So I have Wiz Khalifa's Black Hollywood. I have some Hannah Montana. Then I have some Kid Cudi. Uh, some 2 Chain. The Beatles. It's Easy E. Uh, Journey. And Austin Mahone. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's what's on your phone. I got a better idea. Let's sing without him. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Some call me the gangster of love. Mm -hmm. well, some people call me Maurice. Cause I speak of the politics of love. <laughs> Cause I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover. I get my loving on the run Playing my music in the sun Ooh. Baseball is life I think we can fly First time I ever got into baseball was when I was in first grade I started falling in love with baseball when I actually started catching. Excited for uh, starting the games up because that's when like the fun starts. Um, I love playing scrimmages because scrimmage you get to see your other teammates play also that you maybe you've never seen before. And then you get to play and then after the first game you're just really relaxed and ready to play. That gets you hyped for the season because now you see that your team could be successful and that makes you want to play and want to win. Hi, my name is Nicole Donnelly and I'm here with MTV Weather. Today we're going to be talking about the dramatic weather changes in the East and West Valley. Here's Emily with your daily forecast. Hello, I'm Emily with your weather today. Lately the weather has made some changes. On October 31st, it was in the high 80s. Then on November 1st, temps dropped down to a mid 60s. It is 71 in Goodyear and 69 in Queen Creek. That's your weather report today. Now let's go to Farrah Morgan at Millennium High School. Thanks Emily, I'm Farrah Morgan and today I'm walking around Millennium High School asking students how they're adapting to the weather changes and what they're doing and wearing to stay warm. Yeah, I mean I bring like coffee sometimes, stay warm. Um, no shorts, no crop tops, and cardigans. Um, wearing jackets and sweaters. As the temperatures drop, make sure you're layering up. I'm Fair Morgan, back to you, Nicole. As you can tell, to stay warm at Millennium High School, students are wearing layers of clothing and drinking lots of hot beverages. I'm Nicole Donnelly with MTV News. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Dalton. 
president of speech and debate club. A girl just joined, and she's single. If you want to meet her, come to room T129 after school on Mondays. Speech and debate club. There's a girl now. The MHS Varsity Swim and Dive team has worked long and hard all season for state this last weekend. We caught up with some of the swimmers to see how they felt about making it. Um, I'm pretty excited because I was out the first month of swim, so it's good that I got to get back into it and make state. I was excited. I mean, I kind of knew, but I was just excited about my rankings. I'm hoping they're, they're ready to rock and feeling just as confident as I am going into uh, Friday and Saturday this week. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fast swimming from our team and other teams in the state too. So um, it's one of the most exciting times of the year um, for me and hopefully for those guys too. I'm really excited. Um, I know that we're going to do good this year. We have our girls 200 medley relay is 12th when we're thinking or we're going to try to make it eighth place. Many preparations were made in order to be ready for their races. Right now we're just tapering and we're swimming not as hardcore but we're doing like fast paced stuff to get us into the race pace and just to not overwork our bodies and eating right is good too. You know a lot of swimmers are really notorious for um, you know, wanting a taper period, um, but then they realize that tapering is not just going easy all the time. There's still some fast stuff, but there's also a lot of resting and a lot of easy stuff. Um, we taper so we don't tire our bodies out too much, and just to get like recover from all of our practices that we had, and so we can be fresh for state and go as fast as we can. D1 state times are hard to accomplish. But how hard are they exactly? D1 is way harder to get into. Um, it's just the top 34 swimmers all go within you know two or three seconds of each other, so it's it's pretty tough to get into. In the 50 free, the um, the fastest time is a 20.1, and I believe the slowest time is a 22.5. So. Um, everyone's going to be trying to get top 16 to go to finals, so it's it's all within a two and a half second of each other. We're all really close in that event. Congrats to all who made it. And a special congrats to Rachel Burton, Hayden Clark, and the girls 200 medley relay for qualifying for Saturday's finals. Rachel placed 10th in the 1 meter girls diving, Hayden placed 12th in the 100 bat, and the relay placed 16th. This is Amanda Jacobson, MTV News.